Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Trent Petricelli. Welcome back to the pad print blog that I've been doing. Uh, today we're going to discuss uh, sizing machinery or sizing cups uh, to your image. Um, there's a lot of variables that go into machine sizing, including force and uh, textures and things like that. But right now we're going to talk about the most basic thing, which is will the image fit in my ink cup? Um, pad printing has primarily gone to uh, ink cup uh, printing rather than open inkwell uh, printing, uh, which means that your image needs to fit within the diameter of the doctor blade uh, most of the time. There's very there's there's reasons that that might not be the case, but for basic day to day printing, that's the way it should be. So when you call in, um, and I'm going to do this all in uh, millimeters rather than uh, fractional inches because it becomes um, confusing to do the math that way. Uh, but when you call in and say I've got this image. Um, it's, you know, uh, about 25 millimeters tall by about 55 millimeters wide. I'm going to ask you some questions. I'm going to ask you to be more specific about it. I need to know exactly how tall and exactly how wide it is. Um, let's say it was a square image. Let's say it's 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 uh, 90 by 90 millimeters, and I've got a 90 millimeter ink cup. Well, it sounds like that ought to fit in there. The problem with that is, is that it's square. A 90 by 90 is square, and we need to figure out what fits inside the circle. Um, and so I'm going to ask you to be very specific about it. An estimate on it isn't going to work because we need to know the, the, how much is going to fit in there. So the first thing we've got is just kind of a basic different uh, cup sizes here that I've got shown here. I've got a 60 millimeter, a 90 millimeter, and a 130 millimeter cup. You can print one of these out on your printer um, if you've got Illustrator or something like that and actually work with it to just hold it over your image and find out. That's not a bad way to do it. Um, but of course, the, 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 the mathematical way to do it, let's say you have a drawing rather than something that's printed out or the scale that you can kind of measure and, and feel around, is just to use just basic geometry, which is take the exact longest portion of the image that's your a, it's going to be a square plus b square equals c square. Um, so you're going to take the longest portion of your image, the highest portion of your image, square them both, um, and then uh, on the c, do the square root out. And I'll do that in a second. I'm going to show you something that I think is kind of interesting. Say this image. This is um, an image that is just on the border of printable in a 90 millimeter cup. It's about 90 millimeters long. Uh, but you'll notice it's um, narrow and long. This, which is the same width as this, does not fit in the ink cup. And the reason is, if you do the math out, the diagonal across the print area from here down to here will put it outside the range of the cup. So if I actually just do it and hold it up, you'll see. Uh, maybe you won't, but get the idea. You can see some purple out around the edges there and there. It doesn't work because I can't fit the longest diagonal in the cup. So that's what we're trying to really figure out here. So on this one, I just did the math real quick. Sorry about my chicken scratch, but you've got a height of 65 millimeters, a width of 90, and um, if you do the math out, you square them, Pull the square root, you got 111 millimeters here. Whereas on this one, the height is so small that you your longest diagonal um, works out in a works out to be shorter than the, the, the maximum possible in the cup. Now in this one, obviously at 90 millimeters, you're not going to fit a 90 millimeter width no matter what in a cup that's 90 millimeters, but that's just for, for the math sake of this. Um, you would think that these would be both very close if you told me you had a 90 millimeter image and a 90 mil or 85 millimeter image and an 85 millimeter image. It's critical to know the height and in order to do the math out. But the easiest way, really the easiest way if you have a part, is simply just take the longest diagonal. So you're just going to take your, your ruler and find the two furthest corners away, whatever that happens to be. It could be in the middle of the image, um, and this one, you know, actually it's up high, and then it goes down to the far edge, uh, like that. And you've got a width here. So check to see what's widest, check to see what's tallest, 
and then check to see the combination, the longest diagonal. Well, when I when I talk to you on the phone or when I talk to someone on the phone, I'm always asking what the longest diagonal is. And what I mean by that is, really, take the image, take a ruler, and simply go all the way across it to find out exactly how far it is. And that's going to give you your longest diagonal. Um, with that, you can then say, okay, this is going to fit, this, this image is, say, 85 millimeters. Now, on a cup that's 90 millimeters, you're going to want to come in probably about 15% overall from the edges. So really, 75 is, you're pushing your max um, in terms of, of your image area. And then you obviously with a 115 or a 130, you would do the same thing or 60 millimeter cup. It's the same thing. You're going to want to move in a little bit for safety sake so your pad isn't picking up ink around the outside edges of the cup. From there, obviously, we're going to talk about force. An image like this on a curved surface is going to take more force um, than, let's say, that, that image put onto a flat surface like this. Um, so we have to talk about that. There's other things there. So there's a lot of variables going into it. So uh, we want to be as precise as possible when we ask about uh, image sizes. And when I'm, at, when I'm asking for complete detail on what you're doing, it's because I want to protect you in terms of the size of the, the, uh, the project. Next thing I'm going to talk about, uh, which will be in the next one, which I'm going to film in 30 seconds, is about printing, about cir printing around circumferences and trying to figure out what's rational. Talk about that in a few minutes, and uh, hopefully you'll watch them back to back, and I'll talk to you soon.